Hello, welcome to K-Drama Preview and Review. In this video, I'm going to recap episode 5 of Meant to Be. As I told, Jinwoo saved Hae-in and Do-hyun saved Sena. Do-hyun wants to check on Sena, but his mother stops him because the broken gift costs millions. But he is adamant to protect her. His mother asks him why is he after Sena, when she treats him like a cow dung. Jinwoo goes to study, seeing the fallen gift, he asks them what happened. Sena lies that Hayan did it, Dohyun rushes in and backs Sena, saying he saw it with his own eyes. I told you right? He will do anything to save Sena. Dohyun takes Sena and leaves from there. Hayan can't move because of her fear, so, Jinwoo corrects the position of the gift and hides with Hayan behind the table. Chi Huan comes in and leaves seeing the gift box intact. Hayan tells Jinwoo how Sena blackmailed her to accept that she was the one who broke the gift if she wants to live at her home. Jinwoo's stepmother Chai Young Un comments that the food isn't good, irking Mekong. Both of them go on a taunting spree. To revenge for her insult, Chai Young Un plants a seed of suspicion in Mi Kang's mind against her husband Chi Huan and his secretary Jung Im. She says Chi Huan and Jung Im are close and cross the line. She advises Mi Kong to not to trust men. Mi Kang's suspicions grow when she hears Chi Huan laughing in his study with Jung Im. The thing is, he is nervous about meeting Minister Jung and asks Jung Im for help. C gives him an idea which pleases him. Sana wants to cut cake along with Jin Wu. He isn't okay with it, but he can't deny a birthday girl's wish so, goes ahead and cuts the cake with her, while worrying for a scared Hayan. In order to protect Hayan from Sena, Jinwoo kneels before his father and begs him to adopt Hayan, saying he owes her his life. His parents agree to his request. Hayan gets nightmares because of Sena's blackmail. As she walks down the stairs, she sees Chi Huan in the study and goes to him. He gets her water and appreciates her for being so brave for her age and saving Jinwoo. He also cautions her not to act on her own, instead ask adults for help. Seeing his care for her, she decides to live in his house. The next day, Jinwoo happily gets ready and wakes up his parents to go to Sena's house to talk about Hayan's adoption. At the breakfast table Sena gets to know about the gift, which her father is going to use to benefit his business. Sena is neither worried about the broken gift nor her father, instead she is happy that a big storm is going towards Hayan. Hayan kneels before Chi Huan and takes the fall for breaking the vase. His father-in-law scolds him so bad for not being able to keep a gift safe. He questions him, then how can he trust him with the business? Chi Huan gets angry and drags Hayan to his study and takes a whip to beat her. He says that's why they say none shouldn't to charity to beggars. Jung Im bangs on the door and begs him to not to hurt Hayan. Hayan begs him to spare her. Chi Huan is about to hit Hayan when her chain falls down, Jung Im comes in and takes the beating. Before Chi Huan could see that chain and recognize it being his ex girlfriend, Soon Young's Jung Im hides the chain from him. Hayan is just nine years old, how can he whip a child? While he himself is having a daughter of same age. What's your take on this? That's it with the video. What do you think? Will Chi Huan spare Hayan on the request of Jung Im who served him loyally for 10 years? Do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video, until then, take care.